So in this video, we're going to be learning how to incorporate sending emails into our social network. If you haven't watched the previous video I made on sending emails with PHP, there's a card up on the screen right now and you can go and watch that and it should make more sense. But if you've already watched that, what we're going to be doing is whenever the user creates an account, we'll, let, we'll send them a confirmation email. It won't be a verification email. In other words, they don't need to give us a valid email to have an account because we're not going to send them a link that they have to click. But we are going to send them an email that says something like welcome to the social network. And we're also going to be sending emails whenever users reset their password because we're going to be sending a link to reset the password because at the minute we're just outputting it on the screen. So let's get started. So in the last video we downloaded PHP mailer like this, we click download and then we got these files here. We copied them, pasted them in their own folder. We're going to create a folder now called PHP mailer and we're going to paste those files in there. Next what we're going to do is include the PHP mailer class. And on our last video, we included the class like this. We included PHP mailer forward slash PHP mailer auto load. We're going to copy that and we're going to go to our create account page and we're going to paste that up there because we want to include the PHP mailer auto load class. So now that we've included that, we're ready to send emails. We have all these lines here to send an email and what we should do is condense them into a function. So we're going to cut them out. We're going to create a new file. We're going to call it mail.php and we're going to create some PHP tags. We're going to create a class called mail and we're going to create a function called public static send mail like that. And it's going to create a new instance of the PHP mailer class. So what we should probably do is take this require once out of our create account page and include it on our mail class. So now on our create account page, we're just going to double check that everything still works. We're going to first include the mail class. And then we're simply going to say mail send mail and then back at the mail class we just want to put in this at the bottom mail send to actually perform the send operation and we want to just write into public static function and now if we go to our create account page and we run that it should hopefully send us an email so that loaded it took a bit longer than usual and it should have sent us an email you can see that that has increased to two and up here in a sec we're going to see that i received an email so now our mail function is working and what we want to do is customize this function to enable us to send any kind of emails we want. We can leave the no reply at heiko.org because that shouldn't really change depending on who we're sending the email to. But depending on who we're sending the email to, we will want to affect the subject, the body and the add address. So to do that, we're just going to create a variable subject, body, address. And then we're just going to pass those variables to each of these. Now on the create account page, we're going to cut that. And whenever we finally create the user's account, where we normally print success, what we're going to do is send them the email. So we're going to say mail, send mail. The subject's going to be welcome to our social network. The body is going to be your account has been created. We could give them a link or something to click on. And then the address is going to be the address they gave us as their email, which in this case is just the variable email. So now let's test that out. So I'm going to create a new account. And for the email, I'm going to put in francismagnamy2.hyco.org because I set that up for this video. And I'm going to click create account. It's taken a second because it sent the email. It says success. And now you can see we've just sent an email and it says your account's been created, but we got this other second email just because I didn't set it up properly, the hyco.org one. But we're sending the email properly. It's just that fake email address it doesn't actually exist. But if you send that to a valid email, it should work exactly as you expect. So the next thing we need to do is allow users to reset their passwords using an email link. So on the forgot password page, when we put in our email, we're going to get a code. And what we want to do is actually send that code to a user. So now if I go to forgot password, we're going to include the PHP mail class. And then here, when we normally say email sent and then we print out the token, we're going to just actually send the email. So we can still say email sent, but we want to send the email itself. So for subject, we'll just say forgot password. And for body, we'll send them the password reset link. So we're going to create a link. And we're just going to say reset your password. And then here we're going to put in the link. In my case, I'm going to put in localhost, but in your case, you want to put in whatever domain name you're using to host your social network. And then we're going to forgot password.php question mark. And after the question mark, we put in reset password equals and then whatever our token is. And we have our token variable here. So all we want to do is write token. And instead of reset password, we could just send the actual link just like this. And then finally, what we want to do is tell the mail method where to send the link to. So we have the user's email and we're just going to put in email here. And I've just realized the code for changing a user's password isn't on the forgot password page. It's on change password.php. And then we go to change password.php token equals token. And then here we just want to change that to change password.php token equals token. And then this should take us to the correct place where we can reset our password. So once again, I'm just going to send, it, send myself an email by trying to reset my password. Just like that, I'm going to click reset password. It's going to take a second because it's sending the email. It says email sent. Go to sent mail. 
And now if I click on this actual valid link, the one I've just been sent, I click on that. It gives me the option to change my password. I'm going to change it to test123, test123. And it says password changed successfully. So there we have it. We're sending emails using Gmail and we're now able to send welcome emails and any sort of emails we want. And in this case, we sent welcome emails and password reset emails. So that's it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Reddit. And I'll see you next time.